what is going on guys it's your girl janiqua a and i'm back with another reading for you guys i hope all you guys are doing well if no one told you guys today i love you and i know all your dreams and aspirations matter so this is gonna be a deep reading all right so spirit is telling me to talk about 2023 in the year of the seven which is a chariot and as I was pre-shuffling, these cards came out so I could see exactly why I'm about to touch up on this. So the year 2023 is the year of the chariot, where our masculine and our feminine energies come together and we move forward in triumphant and success. All right, nothing is holding us back because we've learned. All right, um, I just learned too that the chariot is the child of the empress and the emperor so in a tarot card the emperor is the masculine energy like the top masculine energy and the empress is the mother of all things like the emperor is the father of all things and the empress is the mother of all things so that's your masculine and your feminine energy and when they come together they birth the chariot meaning your energies come together so it's either you can literally be birthed a child or literally you are birthing your new ideas, everything that was lying in doormat because your energy imbalance is now able to fluctuate and nothing can stop it because the divine is pushing you because you worked on your divine energy. So right now what I'm seeing is that somebody, first of all, been a wounded warrior. Somebody been wounded in relationships. Somebody been feeling like they had to have their guard up all the time. Somebody's been feeling paranoid in relationships and the way they was actually attracting who they allowed in their life. They was already on a fence. Okay? With this um nine of wands. They it's like this person was already at their breaking point. Okay? And they got their last bit of energy to like stand on. So this person was already going through through hell. Probably in a relationship because the two of cups came out and last year was the year of the six and the six was all about freaking relationships. It was all about knowing who was karmic and who was not, knowing that you got a bigger destiny to fulfill and these are just life lessons that you were supposed to learn how to attach from. It was an energy of the year of the six where you had to release and move away from things that was hindering you that you was too emotionally attached from. This was 3D love, okay? This was earthly love. This wasn't divine. And for some of you guys, last year, you gotta give me a minute because I'm getting these downloads as I'm talking. So last year, you guys was supposed to learn a major life lesson and realize that your, your, your destiny was greater than what you was um, experiencing. Okay, your values, all right, who you, was, uh, who you are as a god and goddess was bigger, bigger than what you thought that you had. Some of you guys thought that you had the lover's card and you got the two of cups. See, the lover's card is a divine union, okay? That is marriage in the three, in the 5D. But the two of cups, people get it twisted. Look who you ran by. Look who is bringing you together. It's 3D, so for some of you guys, you failed to release karmic energies that you came together way back when for you to experience a major life lesson. They have completely served their place in their life with you and you've, you've dragged it out too long to where it started to hurt you, to where it started to have your guard up. Okay, for some of you guys, you didn't realize that this two of cups opportunity was for you to choose yourself. Thank you. It was for you to choose your masculine and your feminine to get out of these relationships that got you on the fence. Thank you. And that's what a brunk. That's what a last year. If you would have chose the relationship with yourself, your masculine and your feminine. Thank you. If you would have brought together your emperor and your empress energy, remember, guys. We, we both, we all as non-ether beings got a masculine and a feminine side. And when we bring that together, we at our highest potential because now there's no judgment. We understand karma. We understand when to take action. We understand when to receive. It's balance. We, we back to a balance of equilibrium. And without the balance of equilibrium, everything will be in shambles. So right now, Spirit is saying, and you guys can see, somebody kind of failed 
to take the opportunity and choose their masculine and feminine and get out of, get out of a relationship and choose a relationship with themselves. And when they learned and healed from this nine of wands energy, this wounded healer, by choosing themselves, by working on themselves, by showing themselves self-love, self-care, by winding down on themselves, then they would have got into the lover's energy. All right? It's, it's so crazy, y'all, because I thought this was one card and it's two. It's a card stuck to this. So we're going to see. Look. Hmm. A queen of cups in fucking reverse. This is all about your intuition. This is all about no matter if you're a masculine or a feminine. This is all about not using your feminine energy. Thank you, spirit. So this is a masculine that was in a relationship that had to be too masculine. This masculine could not. Be a feminine energy, all right? This masculine, do this masculine was in a relationship with another individual that was being too masculine. So how two masculines and masculines gonna be together? I'm not talking about LGBTQ, and yes, I am because that's why you see a lot of people in LGBTQ communities dressing like a woman or just just um, embodying that female energy. All right, it has to be a masculine and a feminine energy in a relationship. It cannot be two masculine energies. It could be two masculines, but it cannot be two masculine energies. It would never work. It could be two women, but it can never be two feminine energies. It's, it's either you're going to be too soft and the other one is going to work walk all over you, or if y'all acting like two masculines, y'all always going to be arguing because it's going to be a power struggle. So in this situation, okay, in this situation right now, there's a masculine that has been dealing with a, a relationship where they had to be too masculine. There was an imbalance of feminine energy inside of them. So the other person that probably was a feminine was acting like a masculine too. So this became a power struggle. And that's why you see the wands here. Because there was no feminine... Look, it kept dropping. There was no feminine energy. Even the feminine wasn't acting like a feminine. Okay? And that's the problem. Now, you got the five of fucking cups. Regret. Missed opportunities. Loss. Sadness. Delays. Lack of confidence. Lack of decision making, lack of self discipline when it comes to your fulfillment. And now the cycle, this person is feeling like the cycle is closed. You got the will of fortune. When a, when a will of fortune here is supposed to be, we're supposed to be in the state of my yacht, complete balance and equilibrium as human, as, as non ether beings, not as humans. See, we have a spirit and we have a soul. This is our, thank you, spirit. This is our spirit and this is our soul coming together into divine equilibrium. So that way we can move forward in a chariot energy, which is this year. Learning, thank you, spirit. Learning how to balance our masculine and our feminine so it could be in an upright. This is all about water and this is all about fire. And when you put it together, it blossoms. Somebody felt to, somebody stayed in a relationship where the feminine was acting like a masculine and it was already a masculine here. So now the effect of making a conscience judgment call to either release themselves from that relationship and walk away to more of fulfilled happiness. Remember guys, I see a, just a whole bunch of cups here. You got the two of cups, you got the queen of cups, you got the eight of cups, and you got the five of cups. You were supposed to walk away. Whoever's gonna resonate with this. This masculine, or you could switch the energies around. They, you guys were supposed to walk away to be more emotionally fulfilled. Remember, last year, the year of the six, was exactly this. It was the eight of cups energy walking away from things that you was too emotionally attached to that was hindering your growth. 
This is not to say these people was bad. It just wasn't emotionally fulfilling you no more. You had better things to accomplish. And you failed. You cried over spilled milk. You, would, you, you failed to cross that bridge. And the consequences of not balancing out your masculine and your feminine and being with a feminine that was acting like a masculine or vice versa, you might have to complete that cycle again to learn how to choose yourself. Because what spirit is telling me is that you were supposed to walk away from the things that caused you pain and heartache and sadness, the things that you was too emotionally attached to that was hindering your growth, it would have, it would have, it would have, you would have been grieving for a minute. But guess what you was walking into? Your ten of fucking pinnacles. This is longevity. This is all about moving forward in chariot energy. This is unstoppable energy. This is set for life. This is generational wealth. Okay. This is all about fulfillment, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. This is about clearing out all karma and debt. So right now, somebody is in deep regret that they didn't take that opportunity to walk away. Even look at the Eight of Cups. This man is walking right towards the Ten of Pentacles energy. And you know, I never try to say man or woman, but I keep saying masculine. I keep saying man. So y'all can switch the energies. Maybe you was too in your masculine energy, feminines. But I'm getting this is a masculine. Okay? This is a masculine. So, again, there's a masculine that has stayed into a relationship with a divine feminine that was acting and operating out of her masculine energy too. So it was really, really hard to put their guard down and to get inside to their feminine because they had to be the provider all the time. They had to be in defense mode and they couldn't balance out their feminine energy, all right? And the reason why I say that is because they got the Queen of Cups in reverse. The Queen of Cups is all about uh, feminine energy, utilizing their intuition, being uh, attentive to their emotions. Look, thank you. So the wheel has turned and you have kind of delayed balancing out your feminine energy when it comes to a masculine here, okay? You failed to take this opportunity to choose yourself so that way you can balance out your masculine and your feminine and move forward in a chariot energy in 2023 this year. So now... You are in deep regret, maybe, or you feel just at a loss because you knew you were supposed to walk away to emotional fulfillment. And that was straight to the Ten of Pentacles. But you see how this card switched when I picked it back up. But now you walk back into sadness, into the Five of Cups energy. We are going to see why all of this is here. So, Spirit, why is this? Um, two of cups here. Why is this two of cups here, please? And thank you. See? The two of cups is you failing to choose yourself. You failed to work on yourself. You failed to balance out your masculine and your feminine energies. All right? You stay in a connection to where it was literally hindering your growth. All right? And you didn't, it, it, was, it wasn't pushing you to, towards your destiny here. You were supposed to walk away so that this could be upright. This is hard work paying off. But it did not because you didn't take that opportunity. And what I'm getting to call, being called to tell y'all is, is that we're literally in a new moon in Capricorn. Okay, the, the moon in Capricorn is all about, um, it's an earth sign. And the moon in Capricorn is a time to focus on your career, your business, your structure, and careful use of resources. And so that way you can be, um, gain practical achievements. 
You may also, in this energy of the new moon and Capricorn, you may also feel inspired to declutter out your life. Get rid of energies and possessions you no longer need, like fucking karmic relationships. Or to otherwise cut the excess and reprioritize what is truly important in your life. You failed to do that with this... Um, this Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is all about hard work paying off. It's all about getting you into the sun energy. So why is this um, wounded healer here? This is you at your breaking point. You knowing you at your breaking point and you didn't walk away. Look. Look how that dropped. You were supposed to take an opportunity, but the Pentacles is uh, an energy that moves slow. And in this case, they moved slow because they took too long. They 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 was contemplating too long. All right, the pen, the the Knight of Pentacles is somebody upright that is practical, that takes their time. Okay, because they know that their next move is the best move when it comes to a a financial opportunity. This person did not. This person let not only choosing themselves go by, but they had an opportunity on a financial. Career. They had an opportunity, and it's crazy that this came out because we just spoke about what Capricorn means. They had an opportunity kind of to like improve their status, their well-being, and where they want to be in life. And now they on the fence. They completely blocked. They stagnant for a whole nother cycle. Why is this eight of cups here? This is failing to walk away um, and leaving things behind that you are too emotionally attached to. Look, what I said, the chariot, oh my gosh. The chariot is the product and the, the aftermath of your light and your dark side coming together and moving forward. Also, this thank you spirit, this is Archangel Michael's energy. The chariot is Archangel Michael's energy and it's all about perseverance. It's all about success and conflict. So if you had conflict with your relationship, this was a time. It's all about overcoming adversity with the truth. The Ace of Swords. Y'all saw how this fell out. You know my cards don't lie. So I clarify the Eight of Cups. You guys to fail to realize the truth in a certain situation and choose yourself. And to literally walk away from things that you was too emotionally attached to. But this was going to allow you to walk away this year in victory. You was going towards your ten of pentacles. This is the chariot energy. This is the truth. You were supposed to break through your bloodline of disaster. And move forward with your chariot. It's number seven. I don't lie to y'all. So we're going to clarify this two things right here because I feel like this go together. This just clearly said you missed the opportunity to move forward with truth and clarity in the chariot energy. And now you're feeling like sad because you knew this chariot energy was moving you towards to your abundance, your ten of pentacles, your end or be or your relationship, your family, your generational wealth, financial freedom. So spirit, there we go. Thank you. Look, there we go. Thank you. You failed to be with your king. Look, you failed to balance out your masculine and your feminine energy. And not only did you do that, whoever you was in a relationship with, y'all both was emotionally unstable. Okay? Y'all both needed to break up with each other and commit to yourselves. So this is about two people needing to separate because y'all both came out as the queen of cups and the king of cups in fucking reverse. Very, very emotionally unstable, very vindictive, very uh, too attached, suffocating. All right. And let's pick up your other cards. Working with a comic. Being in third party relationships. Holding on to shit too tightly. Not making good financial moves because y'all doing shit wrong with y'all money. And there's a complete missed opportunity and something that you loved. I just clarified 
the five of cups energy, which is disappointments and freedom and life. It's because you chose to stay with somebody that was matching your energy of imbalance and your emotional state. Wanted to suffocate each other or vice versa. There was no masculine energy. Spirit. Look, you should have walked away. You should have walked away. You should have. I said Sheila. Sheila. I don't know who that is. Maybe Sheila. Sheila. Maybe Sheila could be a name for you, but you should have walked away. I'm hearing what a should have, what a could have. Okay? You were supposed to wait, walk away from things that you was way too emotionally attached to that was really hindering your growth. And you did not. You failed to utilize your intuition as the high priestess. I love you.